Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Cam and I like to make fashion style content and vlogs. And today, as you can tell by the title, I'm doing a huge collective haul. I'm so excited for this video. You guys do not understand how excited I am because I have so much stuff that I can't wait to show you guys, plus updates on my life and everything, and just a bunch of other random things. Clothes, makeup, jewelry, nail stuff, like bags, just everything, everything. And before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe, like, and also comment down below what your favorite item in the haul was because I kind of want to see what you guys like and don't like and what type of hauls that you guys would be interested in. So don't forget to comment that down below. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, I just got a glass of water. Okay, it's literally like half empty, but you know what, whatever. But I think I'll start with clothes and then move on to everything else. So here is all the clothes I got. Honestly, it's not that much, but these are things that I've been meaning to get for a while, which I'll explain when I get to the specific pieces, but I'm gonna move over so that I can put like the little try on bit or when I try on the clothes, like the little video right here. So let's get started. So the first thing I have is this shorts. I really love these shorts. And you're probably like, wait, Cameron, are those even your style? But I just wanted something cute to wear while I was like, okay, hiking or doing some type of sport or when I go down to Jamaica. Something simple like that where it's really sturdy and like practical, but it's still like pink and cute. I went to Jamaica actually and I was able to wear these and I just felt so much cuter than just wearing my regular like leggings and like an old t-shirt. And they also came with this like cute little belt and I already have have one like this but it's just nice to have a little another one and that's another way I can accessorize these shorts so I really really like these okay so I got a bunch of flare pants that is the majority of the clothes I got mostly because I've been wanting cool pants that aren't skinny jeans and I also been wanting pants that fit my body type more and I noticed that for some reason flare jeans just fit me really well so I got like flare jeans in every single shade. This is basically what they all look like. They're kind of like this. They're obviously flare, as you can see in the video. Um, so this is like the mid medium-ish wash one with the rips in it. And I literally love these so much. They're so comfortable. I've, I've made so many outfits from them. Like it's insane. So I really love these. The next one is the same pants, but in the light wash. Again, I really love these. They don't have rips or anything. Just a cute pair of flare pants. And like literally when I say I had like no jeans. I had no jeans. I would be wearing the same one or two jeans every single day to school and it was just so bad. So I was like, you know what? I need to go buy some jeans. So I'm glad I was able to find these because now I have so much more options. This one is another medium wash one, but it's a little bit different from the other one because it doesn't have rips here and it's also like light kind of on the thigh. This is my favorite wash of jeans. So that's why I got multiple of them because sometimes I don't want the rips. So I think these are really cute. Again, flare leg, as you guys can see in the video. And I'm literally so happy I have these. The next thing I have is actually the black flare pants, which is what I'm wearing right now, which is kind of funny. I literally love these so much. These were the first one I got out of all four of them. And I was so obsessed that I went back and I got like all the different colors of them because they're so comfortable. Oh my god, they're so comfortable. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing jeans at all and they just look so great. I love the flare and everything. And the last thing for the clothes section is this jacket, which, oh my god, I am so obsessed with this jacket. I literally have a perfect outfit for this and I'll put it on the screen right here because I'm so obsessed with this. Like, you guys don't even know. And they're like little sparkles on it like little gemstones and stuff which you know me you know i love gemstones and i've been wanting an upgraded jean jacket as you can see the one i'm wearing right now <laughs> so i'm happy that i have this one because i genuinely like jean jackets but i just don't really like plain ones i notice this is so cute this is such a cute statement piece i can't wait to style it i'm literally so obsessed let me not go on a rant about this <laughs> Okay, so next I'll do bags, and you guys are probably kind of shocked that it's only two bags. And honestly, I didn't buy either of these. These are actually birthday gifts from my friend, which I'm so thankful for because these are so cute. As you guys know, I love mini bags, any type of mini purse. I just realized this was backward the whole time. <laughs> But any type of mini purse I really like, so I'm literally obsessed with these. This one is more of a scrunchy type bag, and I really like it because I love anything scrunchy. And it just seems like really fancy, kind of chic almost. I don't really know what the word is, but very cute. And then this one is a mini bag. It's from Target, and like my friend was so thoughtful when she got me this because I actually have this one which I'm so obsessed with, bro. I wear this like every single day. It's actually turned into my wallet. I wear it so much that I just threw my cards in here and like I use it as a wallet. But 
I love this purse so much. So when she got me this one, I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. So now I have one more to get. I think they have one more, which is the black one. So I think I'm gonna go get that one. So I have all three of them. Next, I'm gonna do accessories, which I kind of just threw all of in here. So let me like pour it out. So the first thing I got were these earrings. They have like gold circles and then at the bottom are pink hearts. And I actually have a necklace that has a similar heart to this. So I can't wait to pair those two together. But these are really cute. Next, I got these super cute silver heart earrings. As you can tell, I love heart earrings. These are just so cute. I love how the hearts are like layered in between each other. And I love how there's just so many different hearts going on. And how much gems there are that they're silver. These are just really cute. Next, I got these two hearts, which are so gorgeous. I love the flower in the center and all the gems around it. And I've just been so obsessed with these because you can wear them so many different ways. Obviously, they're meant to be worn in hair. But since I don't have my braids in, I haven't been doing that because I don't want my hair to get tangled in them but I've been putting them on jackets I've been putting them on my jeans on my bags and stuff just cute little other places and when I get my braids in which I'm gonna get my braids in soon I'm gonna start wearing these in my braids because I feel like this is gonna look so cute especially when I have like pink and then black it's gonna look so cute so I'm so obsessed with these next thing I got was this tiara which I honestly can't remember when I got it but I know I haven't shown it to you guys so I think this is just so cute like it literally just Fits. especially when I have my hair out I can just push it into my hair and it just sits perfectly um and you can put it to the side whatever I just love cute tiny tiaras and I want to start up my tiara collection again so this is like my first starting one which is so cute and of course it has a heart right in the center so very me very Cameron I really like it so I got a lot of bows in the last month um, because I love bows um, you guys already probably know that but I got black bows I got light pink ones which I have like all over the place because I've been wearing them I got white ones and I got dark pink ones and then I got this bow tie which you're probably like okay why did you get a bow tie and I don't like my bows to be like this I prefer when they're standing up so I don't like them flat I like them standing up so it's really hard to do that but I realized if I get a bow tie when I have my hair in like a puff I can just take it and just use this to wrap it around my puff and then it'll stay up like that and it'll be wrapped around my puff. So I got one of these in like a hot pink color. I think it'll also be easier for when I have my braids in too. Again, I can just wrap it around my ponytail and then we're good to go. So the next thing is rings and these are the last things for the accessory part. Um, but I got a good amount of rings. Um, I got this really cute heart one which I'm so obsessed with. And I don't actually remember whether I got this in January or December or something. But I haven't shown you guys it. So I'm like so obsessed with it. It's gorgeous. The way it's built and like all the gems and how the heart is is just gorgeous. I'm so obsessed with this ring. It was a pretty penny, but it was worth it because I know it's never gonna like change color and like get dull and stuff. So I'm really happy that I bought this ring. Then I have this one. It's kind of like a hexagon, an octagon. I think it's an octagon. I don't know. I haven't been in kindergarten in like 12 years, so I forgot all the shapes. But this one is so cute. Another one I'm obsessed with. Because of the way they cut the gem, it's just so pretty when it catches the light. And the rest of them are kind of very similar, so I won't go into detail. But I really did want to show you guys those two specifically because they're gorgeous. But the other ones are really, really pretty too. Next, I have makeup, which so funny. All of these are from the same friend. I rarely buy makeup. And I've been telling myself I need to do a Sephora trip and I still haven't done it. So I need to get on that. But I'm so thankful for the friend who keeps getting me makeup because without her, my makeup collection would be so bad. You guys do not even understand. Like I rarely buy makeup. So I need to start buying more makeup, especially since I'm wearing it more. But let me show you what I got. So I got these really cute Morphe glosses. They're so, so, so cute. I love lip glosses and this was just a perfect gift for me because she knows I love lip glosses. I love all these shades and how they all have golden undertones. It's perfect for my skin tone, which I really love. So thank you for this. So the next thing I have is this pink palette, which I'm so obsessed with. It has all the colors of the rainbow, but I just love the color because I am moving from this apartment to another apartment and I want everything I have to be pink pink even the eyeshadow palette so I really love how this is like all pink and with some silver but it actually has all the shades so it's functional because it has all the shades but it's pink so it'll match everything in my room and the colors are pretty pigmented in this palette I really like it 
and it's just a cute palette. The palette I am really excited about is this one. It is so cute and the colors are so pigmented. I don't think I've had a palette this pigmented before in my life. So I'm so thankful for the friend who got me this palette. It's a gorgeous palette. I love how the mirror has a little heart in it. Like everything about this palette I'm just obsessed with. It's just so pretty, so colorful, and I'm able to do so much more makeup looks with it. So I really love this palette and thank you for the friend who gave it to me. Okay, I was excited about all that other stuff, but the thing that I'm really excited about are these pink makeup brushes. I am obsessed. I love Barbie. I mean, obviously I love Barbie. I love pink. Like, I love doing the little high ponytail that she does. Like, I'm just so obsessed with Barbie. So these pink brushes are just... I don't even know what else to say. I'm so... I'm obsessed with these brushes. I'm literally obsessed with them. And as I said before, they're gonna go so well in my new room because they are pink. So I'm really excited and I'm so thankful. Again, thank you friend who got me all this stuff. Okay, now on to the other nail stuff. I'm actually starting a nail business and I'm so excited to tell you guys that. I'm really excited. I've always wanted a nail business. I'm really excited to start a nail business because I've been doing nails since I was younger and I'll try to put some images of like some of the nail designs that I used to do when I was younger. And keep in mind, I was really young, so I know they aren't professional or anything, but as you guys can see, I clearly was passionate about nails. So I was like, why not start a nail business? But I decided to start a press on nail business because I feel like press on nails are gonna be the new wave. I feel like people are getting tired of acrylics because like they cost so much, they damage your nails, like, there's just a lot of hassle with acrylic. You have to stay in the salon for like an hour. There's just so much things that you have to do with acrylics. But with press on nails, you can control everything. You can control when you put them on, when you take them off, you can file them down. They don't ruin your nails as much as acrylics do and they're so much more affordable. Acrylics are just too much sometimes. I've never got acrylics. I never will get acrylics. I love press on nails and I will forever love press on nails. So I'm hoping that I'll get a lot of people to switch over to press on nails. Even if they don't buy from my brand, if they buy from some other brands, your nails will thank you. Your wallet will thank you. Press on nails are just the way to go. So obviously in order to start my business, I had to buy like a couple of things. So I'm really excited to show you guys everything I bought. So first I got these nail brushes, which I'm so obsessed with. And as I told you guys, I'm moving. And in my new room, I really want everything, like not everything, but all the little details to be pink. So as you guys can see on the covers of my nail brushes, I got them pink so that they would match my new room. So I'm really happy about that. And then the actual nail brushes and stuff are black. So that's also gonna go with silver tips. So I really like that. I wish the brushes themselves could be pink. Like the brush hairs could be pink, but it's fine. I'm so excited to use these. But next I got the little nail stands. Um, in the video, I'll show you what they look like when they're put together, but I'm so obsessed with these. They're pink. Again, I'm not even gonna go into why they're pink. Y'all should know by now, but I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with the pink color. I love how it's metallic. And I love how you can take off the little like stand off of the base of it. So I'm really excited and I can't wait to start practicing with these. Next, literally one of the most important things for the nails is nail polish. They had another group of colors, which was more rainbow. I got the other collection just because I felt like these colors were more me and also more colors that people mostly wear on their nails and stuff. And it had black and white, which I thought were really useful. So I got this one, but these are just some nice gel nail polishes. Something to start me off. The containers are really tiny, which I don't like, but again, this is just something to start me off. And all the reviews said this was a really good brand, so I'm really excited to use these. Next, of course, if I got gel nail polish, I have to get a UV lamp, but I'm really excited to see how this works because I've never had a UV lamp before and it seems very easy to use, so I can't wait to see how my nails come out. Okay, so now I'm gonna open the box with the nails. I don't know why they gave me such a huge box, but whatever. Okay, here they are. I'm literally so excited because now I can finally start practicing. Oh wow. I'm not gonna tilt them too much because I don't want them to fall out, but I'll show you in the video. This is so weird because now I'm looking at these and I'm like, oh my god, I have to start practicing now. Like, this is insane. I'm literally gonna start tonight. After I'm done filming this, I'm literally gonna start painting some nails right away. If I finish a set before I'm done editing this video, then I'll try to put some pictures of what I've done here. So in a few weeks or so, when I decide to finally launch my business, I'm obviously gonna get all the different shapes. But for now, for practice, I'm just gonna be using these. 
And I guess that's it. This was a really fun video to film. I love talking with you guys and telling you guys updates about my life and stuff. So let me know what you guys think of this video and hopefully I'll have another video up soon. But until then, see you guys later.